Flictenular keratoconjunctivitis is a nodular inflammation of the cornea or conjunctiva that results from a hypersensitivity reaction to a foreign antigen. Prior to the 1950s, flictenular keratoconjunctivitis often presented as a consequence of a hypersensitivity reaction to tuberculin protein due to high prevalence of tuberculosis. It was typically seen in poor, malnourished children with positive tuberculin skin test. Following improvements in public health efforts and decreasing rates of tuberculosis, there was a decline in flictenular keratoconjunctivitis and subsequent patients were found to have negative tuberculin tests. Currently in the United States, microbial proteins of Staphylococcus aureus are the most common causative antigens in flictenular keratoconjunctivitis. Risk factors for S. aureus exposure include chronic blepharitis and suppurative keratitis. Flictenular keratoconjunctivitis is a common cause of pediatric referrals as it occurs primarily in children from 6 months to 16 years old. There is a higher prevalence in females and higher incidence during spring. Flictenular keratoconjunctivitis is postulated to occur secondary to an allergic, hypersensitivity reaction at the cornea or conjunctiva, following re-exposure to an infectious antigen that the host has been previously sensitized to. Antigens of Staphylococcus aureus and Mycobacterium tuberculosis are most commonly associated, however, herpes simplex, chlamydia, Streptococcus viridians, Dolo C. granulum pigrum and intestinal parasites including Hymenolopus nana have also been reported as causative agents. Histologically, scrapings from affected eyes with flictenular keratoconjunctivitis infiltrates show predominantly helper T-cells, as well as suppressor, cytotoxic T-lymphocytes, monocytes and Langerhans cells. The majority of cell scrapings were HLA doctor positive. The presence of antigen-presenting cells, Langerhans cells, monocytes and T-cells support the rationale that flictenular keratoconjunctivitis is likely due to a delayed cell-mediated reaction. Flictenular keratoconjunctivitis may have an association with ocular rosacea, a skin condition that may have a similar underlying type 4 hypersensitivity origin. Previous reports of flictenular keratoconjunctivitis with associated asthma and allergies also support the notion of an altered immune mechanism contributing to the pathogenesis. The clinical presentation of PHL cytenulosis is dependent on the location of the lesion as well as the underlying etiology. Conjunctival lesions may cause only mild to moderate irritation of the eye, while corneal lesions typically may have more severe pain and photophobia. More severe light sensitivity may also be associated with tuberculosis-related flictenules compared to S. aureus-related flictenules. Flictenules can occur anywhere on the conjunctiva but are more common in the interpalpebral fissure and are frequently noted along the limbal region. They commonly present with a gelatinous, nodular lesion with marked injection of the surrounding conjunctival vessels. The lesions may show some degree of ulceration and staining with fluorescein as they progress. In some cases, multiple 1 to 2 mm nodules may be present along the limbal surface. Corneal flictenules similarly begin along the limbal region and frequently degenerate to corneal ulceration and neovascularization. In some instances, the flictenule will progress across the corneal surface due to repeated episodes of inflammation along the central edge of the lesion. These marching flictenules demonstrate an elevated leading edge trailed by a leash of vessels. The diagnosis of flictenular keratoconjunctivitis is made based on history and clinical exam findings. The underlying infectious etiology requires further investigation when the possibility of tuberculosis or chlamydia is suspected. Chest radiographs, purified protein derivative skin testing or quantiferin gold testing should be ordered for patients with a history of travel to tuberculosis endemic regions or symptoms consistent with tuberculosis infection. For patients suspected of having chlamydia, immunofluorescent antibody testing and PCR of conjunctival swabs provide quick and accurate screening. If positive, appropriate systemic treatment of these infections is required as well as screening and possible treatment of close contacts.